Jared, tell us about Feed the Grizz this year. You know, Feed the Grizz uh, is a tradition we do every playoffs. We ask the fans to, uh, to bring fish uh, here to the games. And when the Grizzlies scored their first goal, fans were asked to throw the, throw the fish on the ice and, uh, and feed, the, feed the Grizz. It goes back almost two decades and really the most special year in Grizzlies history thus far is the Turner Cup in Utah season in 95-96. That's when this started. Absolutely. It started by, I believe it was Tim Mauser who was the president at the time. I uh, wanted to start a tradition here for playoffs and uh, started it, and uh, we want to keep it going. We had a couple players up fishing uh, Monday, DJ Alito, Danik Paquette, and Derek Martin. They definitely got stocked up. There's plenty of trout in Utah. There's plenty of trout, plenty of carp. There's plenty of fish anywhere you want to go. You know, All we ask is to bring it down, and uh, let's, let's feed the Grizz for the playoffs. Here with DJ Alito. DJ, we're talking about the tradition of feeding the Grizz when the Grizzlies score. Fans throw trout on the ice. And you were actually in the stands when the tradition started when the Grizzlies beat Orlando in the 1996 Turner Cup Finals when the Grizzlies first came to Utah. Yeah, actually, I remember that day uh, quite well. I was actually sitting behind us in section 116. And uh, yeah, I happened to get some tickets and I came with. Uh, my brother and I think a couple of friends and uh, yeah we had a good time it was pretty cool to see that and see all those fish flying the ice. Yeah it's a cool tradition that the Grizzlies started up a couple years ago just to kind of tie the two eras together it was a, a good memory for the organization winning that championship the fans are ready to do it again this year. Yeah that'll be kind of neat I've never really seen that I know in Alaska they'll throw a big uh, salmon on the ice when they score their first goal and stuff but it'll be cool to see uh, I don't know exactly what type of fish they'll be throwing, probably trout, I'm assuming, but uh, it'll be kind of cool to see that. Where'd you take uh, Danik and Derek fishing on Monday? You know, with springtime rolling around, the ice is coming off the lakes and reservoirs, so I took them up to East Canyon Reservoir for a few hours on our day off, and we caught about 20 fish, just throwing rapalas and lures, and uh, they had a great time, and we got to enjoy each other and uh, just kind of talk amongst ourselves and fish. Where's your favorite spot to fish in Utah? Uh, my favorite spot probably is Flaming Gorge. I like to go jigging for those big uh, mac. They're hard to catch, but uh, you know, definitely when you hook one, it's a great feeling. You, Danik Paquette, and DJ Alito went fishing on Monday. Yeah, that was a good time. Uh, you know, DJ's from around the area, so he knows a few uh, places to go fishing, so we could catch some fish. We had a nice meal, and uh, you know, just had a fun day. We got a suntan too, which we wasn't a good thing for us because we burnt because it was uh, cold out, but the sun was strong. But uh, it was a great day to be out, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, just a bunch of nice scenery around here and a lot of places to go and enjoy the outdoors. Mixing in the outdoors with playoff hockey, long-standing playoff tradition, the fans are going to throw trout on the ice after the Grizzlies score their first goal every night in the postseason. Yeah, I know. We should have uh, kept a few of those trout. We could have kept them on the bench and maybe threw them out ourselves after our first goal. But, you know, it's a, it's a great way to get the fans involved, and I think it's fun for them, fun for us. So, you know, we're going to be excited when we get that first goal there.